going back to last year, um, sadly Mick was diagnosed with cancer in April. He was taken into hospital and had a hip replacement done. And from that day onwards, he just went downhill fast. When I entered the shop, I found the shop practically empty. And I realized there was a burglary. And I realized one of the staff done it. So I called the police. When the police arrived, they found me in such a stressed situation. He decided that I'm having a heart attack. So I called the ambulance and I ended up in the back of the ambulance. I found out I had cancer. So I had all 2016, obviously, dealing with my cancer, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. Um, by October, that had gone. Um, and then by May 2017, obviously, I was diagnosed again, um, which obviously this time it's gone a bit further. It's stage four, it's in my lungs, and obviously still in, my, in the cervix. I had to come out of work to be a um, full-time carer for Kel and look after our four kids. Um, and obviously, you worry about money and everything. After that, when we were arranging the funeral and making all the arrangements for him, Debbie the warden here in Seaford mentioned about the news trade to me and said that I should contact them. Unlike other charities, news trade isn't age specific or need specific. The common ground is, is a connection to the, the newspaper industry. So as a result of that, we deal with inquiries for assistance from a very large um, diverse range of beneficiaries um, facing all kinds of different problems um, and this has resulted in the involvement of um, schemes such as Fresh Start Assist which is there to support trading news agents, we have our ACE Children's Fund which is there to help our younger beneficiaries or people um, with dependent children to support um, and we have our anxiety support service which is available to everyone across the board within the industry who's coping to um, struggling to cope emotionally um, and we found that by working with Anxiety UK we could provide a service in the form of a free dedicated helpline so that people could ring up anonymously and um, access the services and the help they need to help them manage their stress so that they could improve their quality of life um, and then we have obviously our financial assistance that is delivered in the form of ongoing regular grants as well as crisis one-off grants. There was, there was so much they had to offer me um, and it's been brilliant. It's been absolutely brilliant. We have a full team of, they ring, we have, we're on the phone for quite a while, we have a laugh and a giggle. It's not all serious, serious. It's, it's, they generally just ring just to see how you are in general, which is nice. I was struggling to pay the funeral and the news trade helped me with that and various other bills as well which I was so grateful for. Um, in fact, I was overwhelmed by their generosity. Um, I could not have managed without their help and they made such a difference to my life. We got a grant to help with this children's school uniform. So obviously September we had all the children going back to school, so it helped us. My oldest child was starting senior school, so it helped to get all her, her, her new uniform. We needed carpet for the place because there was not carpet in and there was a grant from the news trade toward that. There was help for our appliances, they supplied that. We would look at things like people's emotional health, um, whether it's you know, information and signposting um, that they need. We have home visits, which means we can give personal one-to-one -one contact. They come to visit us once every four months. And they are very friendly, they listen to us, they ask us if we have any problems. And if we have, they try to sort it out as best as they can. I come around, we have a cup of tea, we'll have a chat. I was saying we sit, we sit here sometimes for like two, three hours and we've, like, we've lost the time. We have a really good catch-up. And obviously I'll find out how they've been and obviously they'll find out how I've been. I don't think we could have coped very much without a new trait. And I would say to anybody in my situation, and you have that leaflet, don't hesitate. Obviously, news trade, they help everybody. Obviously, it's not just individuals. It, it, it's, they help young families, the elderly, people who generally need help, and they are there to offer that support. So if you, if you need it, they are there at the end of the phone. Contact them, because they will help you in any way they can. I just feel now that I'm, I'm looking forward to the future now. Um, I've got the lovely bungalow, lots of friends, and I just feel that I've got so much support from the news trade what makes it more reassuring is knowing that they're always there at the end of the phone if I've got any problems with my welfare, 
um, benefits or anything like that in the future that there's always somebody there that I can ring up and ask about. Please support us, whether it's by volunteering to join one of our committees or by attending our events. You can contact us by looking at our website or follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you.